Hello everybody, Budly Neck here. Welcome to Mods of the Week. Today's shout out goes to Your Prophecy. Thank you so much. I do put a lot of work into these and it makes me feel good to know that you are enjoying them. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. I don't want to waste too much time here at the beginning talking about it, but at the beginning of the last episode, I said I wanted to do something very special for 30,000 subscribers and I was waiting on a response. I got the response back. I applied for YouTuber rank on Hypixel and I got it. They gave it to me. I think it would be very cool if we could schedule one day a month where we could all get together and play together on Hypixel. I don't want to spend too much time talking about it here at the beginning though because a lot of people here just want to get to the mods. So we'll talk more at the end or follow me on Twitter or join my Discord. There's links for both in the description and that makes it much, much easier to talk about things. And honestly, that's already been way too much talking. Let's get to the mods. CC Restitched brings Computer Craft to Fabric 116.2. Computer Craft adds computers and turtle robots that you can program using the Lua programming language. By allowing you to actually write the code yourself, this brings limitless possibilities for automation and gives a fun, interactive way to learn how to program if that's something you might be interested in. Chat Heads is a Fabric 116 mod that adds player heads next to messages in chat. It's such a simple thing and it makes such a big difference. It's really helpful to put a face with the text and it just looks nice. This is another one of those mods that just seems like it should be part of the game and I think that's one way of knowing it's a really good mod. Home Camp is a Fabric 116 mod that allows you to set a campfire as your respawn point. By default, when you respawn, the campfire will go out and it only works if it's lit. You can adjust all of this and choose whether or not it has to be a soul campfire in the config file. MC Dungeons Weapons is a Fabric 116 mod that brings over 40 weapons from Minecraft Dungeons to Minecraft. All weapons have crafting recipes and unique stats. The models look fantastic and the developer says they plan to bring more weapons and possibly another mod with enchantments from Minecraft Dungeons to really bring these weapons to life. Piggy Bank is a Forge 116 mod that brings the Piggy Bank from Minecraft Dungeons to Minecraft. This is a rare spawn, so you won't see too many of these guys, but if you're lucky enough to come across one, you can get some nice loot. They'll drop emeralds every time you hit them, and when you finish them off, they can drop some very rare treasures. The Dark Katana and Sun's Grace from Minecraft Dungeons are both possible drops that you can get from this guy. Adapaxels is a Fabric 116 mod that adds Paxels to the game. Paxels are tools that can mine blocks that would normally be mined by pickaxes, axes, shovels, and hoes. They can also strip logs, crack bricks and sandstones, and make paths. This mod also has integrations for Adebranium, Astromine, and Tech Reborn if you have those mods installed. Risk of Rain mod is a Forge 115 and 116 mod that adds some content from Risk of Rain to Minecraft. Currently, it adds the Lemurian and the Stone Golem mobs, which both look amazing. Their skins vary based on the biome they spawn in, and their animations look great. The Stone Golem is a pretty tough battle that you probably want to handle from a distance if you can. This mod also adds a couple new items that you can find in structures throughout your world. The Goat Hoof, which gives up to speed 5 based on the amount that you have in your inventory, and the infusion, which you can consume to increase your max health by one. Sodium Forge Unofficial brings a port of sodium to forge. The developer says it's unofficial and very hacky and the fabric version is superior, but according to the test that I did, this definitely improves performance and visuals in some cases. The FPS stays at about quadruple vanilla and slightly higher than Optifine. If you're not having FPS issues, this doesn't really matter. 
But if you need a boost, it looks like this could help. If we take FPS out of the equation and just look at the chunk loading, sodium is far smoother than Optifine. Sodium is also the only option for smooth lighting underwater. If you want shaders, you'll have to stick with Optifine. But like I said, if you need a performance boost, this might be the best solution for you. Wishing Well is a Fabric 116 mod that gives some use to the wells that you come across in deserts. Throw in a gold nugget and you can get some pretty good loot, including a new trinket that's added by this mod that gives you the luck effect while it's in your inventory. You can decide whether or not wells get disabled after the first use and the cost to get a wish in the config file. Wizard Staff is a Forge 115 mod that brings a new simple take on magic. The spell that you cast is based on what item is currently in your staff. Casting a spell costs a little XP. The more powerful the spell, the more XP that it costs. Currently, there are 10 spells. You can fly with Elytra, turn time forward with a clock, get divine insight with a book and quill, create a cloud of horror with a carved pumpkin, stun mobs around you with a jukebox, blaze powder turns your staff into a flamethrower, you can turn a leather helmet into a wizard hat, get mob spawn eggs with an egg, turn stone into gold ore with a gold ingot, and trust me, you don't want to try Staffception. It can get ugly. And that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm going to see how much Staffception we can have going here. I'm going to see how big of an explosion we can get. If we keep putting Staffception staff inside of staff inside of staff. But anyway, to those of you that do want to get together and play mini games on Hypixel, we are definitely going to need a better way to get together and find out when is the best time for everybody. If that's something that you think you might be interested in, then follow me on Twitter or join the Discord. I mean, my Discord is where I hang out the most. I do a lot of talking in there. So if you guys have an opinion or an idea or something you want me to know about, I'm always in Discord and I usually check Twitter at least once a day. Who knows, maybe we'll have to schedule two times a month. So maybe it'll be one day, like an hour in the morning and an hour at night or a couple hours in the morning, a couple hours at night. I really don't know yet, but I just think it's going to be a lot of fun to get together and to hang out with you guys. I think this staff is very, very dangerous right now. It is loaded up. I really wonder what the limit is. I don't know if there is a limit, but the more you put in, the bigger the boom. And I think this is going to be a big one. Uh, another thing I wanted to tell you guys is the Budley Neck Reddit officially has a mod team now, which is very cool. They are doing a fantastic job over there, and I think it's time. Here goes. Let's see what happens. Oh, man, that was a big one. Oh, man, that was a big one. Let's check out the damage over here. Look at the size of this, and I think you can keep going. I wonder how big this can get. That is ridiculous. That's pretty fun. Thank you guys again for watching this video. It really is time for me to go now. This has been a lot of fun. It really has been a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun making these. It looks like I caught that arrow. Look at that. I got shot right in the hand. And I look I look swick. Look like I caught an arrow. But thank you guys so much. Keep playing. Keep having fun. We will see you guys next time.